Hey, what's up? It's Jeff here, and welcome to the Men Unplugged Show. On today's episode, I'm going to roll out another one-minute mission. So here it is. Here's the mission. To pray one minute for seven straight days. That's it. You can actually start this anytime you want. But when you do that, to pray one minute, at least one minute for seven straight days. Now, if you want to add that minute to your existing prayer routine, then do that as well. And if you like, you can turn that prayer into a five-minute prayer. Now, if you're wondering what to pray for specifically, I would say anything. Really, that, that's it. That's my advice. You can pray about anything. Anything that you sense that you need help with, or, or maybe somebody else that you know that needs help, or maybe it's even a prayer of thanksgiving, thanking the Lord for some blessing in your life. And more specifically, you can pray for provision, for protection, for penitence, and for people. And if you want a word or specific, you know, outline that you need to pray for, you can pray the Lord's Prayer. And you can find that in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. And the Lord's Prayer, as you know, is simply, is simply this. It says, uh, My Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me today my daily bread and forgive me my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. And lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That's it. Now, I said trespasses there, but you may have heard it or have said it as debts or sins, and, and that's fine. You can do that. But that's it. It's, uh, you can say the Lord's Prayer. You can also even pray this. You can pray something like Psalm 23.1. Um, and it's something as simple as just saying this, Lord, you're my shepherd. I shall not be in want. Or you can even pray uh, Psalm 25, verse 4. And that uh, particular verse says, show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. And the last one that I want to share with you is you can pray Psalm 27, 1. And that prayer or that verse says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So to turn that into a prayer, you could simply say this, Lord, you're the light in my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Because you, Lord, are the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? And that's it. Now, um, those are just some examples that I've given you there. And um, to kind of give you some fuel for the mission, here's some, here's some quick benefits that are going to really, I think, prompt you to go ahead and complete this mission. Um, one of the first benefits is by praying is you're going to get closer to God. And the more that you do that, you're going to get even closer. Um, it's also going to give you the opportunity to reduce anxiety and stress. And, and let's be honest with everything that's going on with most of us today and all the, the hats that you have to wear at home and at work, there's just a lot of stuff going on. I mean, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of chatter, communication. There's a lot of daily responsibilities and a lot of hurry and a lot of distractions that we have on a consistent basis. So praying really helps to reduce that, reduce that stress, reduce that anxiety, and to help you calm down. Now, another thing that can help you out um, is my book, Cut Through the Noise. And if you don't know anything about that, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, link here. Um, that book is going to help you remove distractions and connect with God. And, and all you need to do to go to find out more about that is go to my personal website, and that's jeffjarina.com forward slash noise. That's J-E-F-F-J-E-R-I-N-A dot com forward slash N-O-I-S-E. Now, um, there's actually two or three other benefits, what I would call fuel for your mission here, um, that are that, that in terms of what's going to happen when you pray, okay? So the next one is it's going to help you to shift your focus to what's right. Not on what um, we focus here on a temporary basis, but what God wants us to focus on, those eternal things. Again, what I call the eternal perspective. Uh, the fourth thing, here's a, a, another benefit for praying. Um, and that is it's going gonna, it's gonna to really um, help to tear down temptation. It's going to help to stop that, to pause it. Then the last thing, the last benefit that I want to talk about um, when you pray is you're going to be able to open yourself up to receiving a blessing from the Lord. So again, your mission to complete is, is to pray for one minute for seven straight days. And so with that, 
Um, I'll just let you know that it's going to wrap up today's show. And before you go, make sure you subscribe and share this podcast um, on the menunplug.net website or maybe on your favorite podcast platform or if you're watching it here on the YouTube channel on YouTube. So without any further ado, thanks a lot. God bless.